Milestone accomplished. What do we got? Are you serious? I just walked into a... Are you freaking serious? Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our fugitive run. In the last episode, you might notice that my uh, my suit has changed. I, we have our uh, Sentinel ship because in the last episode, we bought an advanced mining blazer. However, the payment was we had to scrap our ship, all of our ships that we had. Well, one, and then we had to trade off the, the cheap broken one, get rid of everything and change our look and escape that system. That way we couldn't be followed. So that was the payment. We ended up scrapping our S-Class solar ship, which, I, you know, it was an S-Class, which kind of sucks. But, hey, you know what? We were able to get an advanced mining laser, so I think it was a good trade-off. Good trade-off. So now, in our fugitive run, again, guys, if you want to see the rules, they're down below in the description. But well, essentially, we have to make it to the center of the galaxy. Now, uh, the easy way to do that is to find some grave sites. Uh, if you find a grave marker, a, uh, a, a grave site, you w can get a, uh, you can get a glyph out of that. And we need five minimum before we can go to the center of the galaxy. So we, we need those because I mean, you can't just, I could just jump in my ship and pulse drive all the way or, uh, warp all the way there, but it's going to take us a few hours of warping. <laughs> so I would rather not do that. I'd rather use a portal, but in order to use a portal, we need to get five glyphs and that's pretty hard to do. That is pretty, pretty hard to do. Let's see. Can I get this? Come on. Here it goes. Inverted mirror. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's look around here. Exosuit. We have a lot of oxygen here. Okay, we're good on all that stuff. All right, so we are okay. So now what we got to do is find any kind of a grave marker. So traditionally, what I would tell you to do is go to a space station, talk to a traveler, because if you pay them 100 nanites, they'll tell you exactly where a grave is. However, we're a uh, fugitive on the run from the law. So we, uh, we can't go do that <laughs> i mean you know we can't talk to any uh any regular aliens because they'll turn us in speaking of that did i scan all these okay i have scanned all of them so i have to just find them on my own you can do that a few different ways walk around a planet for a while there's going to be graves all over the place you just need to find them or if you want to just fly low and slow and you see the top of my screen you see how it's marking like the crystals and the resonator, all these marker, all these, these items on the ground are marked on your compass. If you fly low and slow, you'll see a yellow marker and it'll look like a grave, uh, you know, a, a gravestone. That is what we're looking for. that's really hard to do though, because you gotta be flying low and slow. That way it has enough time to, you know, you can see it at the top of your screen and you have to be flying in the right area. <laughs> so. Really tough, tough to do. Let's see. We could do this for a little while. But ultimately, what we we're probably going to need to do is just get out and kind of uh, walk around a bit. Kind of adventure around on a good planet that we like. And look for it. I and mean, we could also do some other stuff as well while we're here running around. So you know what? I think that's what we're going to do with this episode. We're going to look for some grave sites. And, oh yeah, I have a whole bunch of uh, life support modules, but I don't have any room in my uh, suit. So I should probably go after some uh, inventory spaces on my uh, technology. First things first, let's make sure we are charged up on this. That way I can call my ship in anytime I want and I can get out of here if I need to. Buried cache, let's do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Got a cough there for a second. All right. Move this around a bit. And boom. So you're just making sure I have enough room to pick up stuff. I don't want to, you know, basically get away from my ship and then go, Oh, I don't have any room. I should have put all the stuff in my ship. Let's get that. Oh, look at that. A suspicious movement module. A jetpack upgrade. Man, we definitely need to find some... Uh, we definitely need to find some freaking drop pods. I'll tell you that because good lord, I have no room and I have a whole bunch of stuff I could use. 
Got a whole bunch of life support, jetpack upgrades. Can't, don't have any room for it. Well, let's just keep heading north, I guess. Let's do it. I mean, my jetpack is doing decent, right? I mean, look at that. Boom. It's a pretty decent jetpack. Gotta say, we're moving pretty well. Just look around. Maybe we'll go after a whole bunch of these resonators because we can get echo uh, charts. That way we can find camps if we want to. I don't want to go after the uh, the sentinels because, I mean, we learned our lesson uh, many, many times ago. We had everything break because those damn quads, man. Holy cow, those quads. They're insane. When you go to extreme or even permadeath. I don't know if you guys have been watching my permadeath series that I've been doing on stream, but uh, I got m just destroyed by some quads, which is crazy. You would think they're only level three, but man, they are crazy. Inverted mirror. Oh, we don't have any ammo. I'm going to have to make some ammo, I guess, huh? Uh, boom. There we go. You don't need that much. And looking around, seeing a lot of Gravitino balls, but not a lot of grave markers. So the grave markers, when you look through your visor, it'll just look like a grave, like a, a gravestone. The, the, you know, the, the diamond looking thing. But if you're flying around, it'll be yellow. I don't think it's yellow on your uh, visor, though. But it's been a while since I've seen them, so maybe they changed them to be yellow. I don't know. That it? No, wait a minute. There it goes. Echo locator. There you go. Easy enough. Keep going north. Oh, God. Just punch that thing. Milestone accomplished. What do we got? Are you serious? I just walked into a... Are you freaking serious? I just picked up a, uh, a chart and I was like, oh, I'll probably use it. I just walked right into a camp. Are you... I don't think I... You know what? Actually... I've been here. No! <laughs> yeah, because it's empty. So they normally will be filled unless you've been here before. Is the, uh, let's see, is it, can I even interact? Yes, I can. That means I've unlocked it already. And I already knew it was trash. That's why I left. Son of a. I was all excited. I thought I found a brand new harmonic camp. Nope. One I've already been to. Well, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign of things to come, I don't think. We could do this. Go in here and get some uh, get some cobalt. That way I could uh, make some more batteries. How many batteries do I have? 33. Oh, yeah. We can make a lot more batteries. Let's do that. Oh, scan it first. Get some money for that. 21,000. Ooh, it gives you copper as a secondary. That's pretty good. I love it when it just skips the middleman and it just gives you uh, chromatic metal. Those are the really... It's rare that you find it, but man, when you do, cobalt and uh, chromatic metal. Oh amazing amazing those are the ones that dreams are made out of <laughs> it's that and then the ferrite dust with the uh, chromatic metal well you know you get your regular uh rocks that have chromatic metal as a secondary that's good get rid of this guy give me your oxygen oh look at all these guys just chilling out all these poisonous and uh plants over here got you i don't think i need sodium definitely you know what you can never have too much oxygen you can use it for a ton of stuff so always if you have the option get that so you get that oxygen sodium eh, it's okay there we go yeah we're gonna need a lot of cobalt let's see um yeah we got a lot already so let's try it Oh, we got more. <laughs> Shoot. I wasn't paying attention. We got four more than we need. Crap. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. We have extras. That's fine. Get rid of that. We'll keep that ionized. I don't even know why we need ionized cobalt. I mean, you can use it to make your back your, your backpack refiner. However, I'm never going to get a backpack refiner because I need to go to the space anomaly to get that thing. And that's not going to happen on the fugitive run. Is that a... Uh... Oh, look at this. Let's get over here. Let's see. Is there any grave around here? I'm not seeing any. Yeah, and so we had a hard time finding a uh, a crash ship after the first one, of course. The first ship we found was amazing. 
was super easy, but then after that, it was like, yeah, we have no crash ships everywhere or anywhere. So it might be a hard, hard uh, thing to find any uh, grave locations, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I saw my ship, you know, icon over there and I freaked out for a second. Like, oh, there's a crash ship. Over nope, that's not. That's not how that works. Let's see what we got. Oh, do I have room? I do kind of. So worst comes to worst, we're getting rid of... I already... Am I visiting everything we... You know what? I'm visiting everything we've uh, we've seen so far. So I think what we need to do is... I need to just go to a different area. Because I am visiting every location I've already been to. So uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to stop doing that. Hey buddy, what you doing? Don't be mean. If you're cool, then I'm cool. All right. So yeah, we've uh, we've uh, been here. So let's just move along. Let's move along. I thought we picked a good location, but uh, obviously it was so good because I've already been there. <laughs> Dang it. That's okay. It happens. It happens. Um, not seeing anything. So, I think this will be far enough, right? We would, we would for a good long, uh, a good long while. So my uh, launch fuel. There we go. Don't pay attention to me. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Before we leave, there might be a grave location here, and I just didn't see it. Um. Nope, I'm not seeing it. What is that? Okay, that's just radiant shards. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm not seeing anything. I see some uh, buried cache, so this will, we'll, we'll head towards the buried cache first. Ooh! Going faster than the uh, terrain can even populate in. I like it. We're going that fast. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. I pop that. Nanites, it looks like. Yep, nanites received. So we're just going to keep looking like that. Nope. All right, keep heading north. So hopefully I don't keep running into buildings I've already been to. I can't believe that. Ran into a harmonic camp that I've already been to. And then a uh, crash freighter because I am not paying attention. Good lord. No, no, no. Oh, there's some uh, the resonator over there. Not seeing anything around here. All right, is that a buried cache? That is, so let's just keep heading that way. The other thing is, can we found all the animals? We have. Okay, we found all the animals here, so I don't need to scan any more animals. Man, okay, I've kind of like already halfway picked this uh, this planet clean. Huh, okay. I thought we were going to get a little bit more uh, juice out of this planet, but I guess not. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll run into a grave location pretty quick here. But not running into anything yet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Go, go, go. Oh, damaged. Oh, got some magnetized ferrite out of that. I'll take it. Give me that radiant shard. Those are really good for your sentinel ships. You can basically use that for most of the fuel in your ship. So definitely you want to pick up a lot of the uh, corrupted, like the Atlantium and the radiant shards. Those are all good things. over here I don't have to worry about batteries I just realized there's no hazard protection really because this uh, planet's a nice one you might have a storm every once in a while but other than that no worries about that all right don't shoot the sentinel did I shoot the sentinel I did so they're probably mad there we go so now we just creep up like we, we don't know what's going on. Like, hey, did you see that dude? He just ran the other way. 
So you should go chase them down, Sentinels, over there. Not over here. It's not me. I didn't do it. That was not me at all. I would never, I would never do that. Broadcasting tower. We don't need that. So this is the point where you guys tell me that I missed a grave location because I, I didn't look or I didn't see it. So this, yeah, that's about the point when you guys need to do that. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. We can get a, uh, do we have our refiner? Oh, we don't need a double stack of that. I don't think we have a refiner. How do we not have a, did I leave my refine? Mother. Oh, no, no, no. We had to sell it. Okay, I had to sell it to make room. Never mind. Okay, I was about to get mad when I left my refiner somewhere. Let's see. I mean, I don't need nanites, do I? Oh, actually we do. 277, but I don't have a lot of room. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, plus I need to get rid of something. Yeah, you know what? I don't need the nanites right now, so we'll leave that alone. We don't need the nanites. We're good. I'm just looking for a grave location. All right. Nothing here. Let's move it along. It is nice having a really good jetpack. I mean, I, I have one more upgrade. I could throw that in there. I just don't want to mess up my uh, my current setup because it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, you know, I don't have the optimal location for like my my thing. Actually, how much you want to bet is probably better than one of those. All right, wait a minute. I already have three. So this is what what I mean by that is you could only have three upgrades. So we currently have one, two, three. If I put a fourth one in there, they overload like this. See, overloaded. Even the A. So it's not just black market or anything like that. It is any kind of upgrade. You can't have more than three. So 144, 171, 19, are you serious? Never mind. It was not as good. 177, 140. Yep, this one's bad. Never mind. I thought it could be good. It's not though. That's okay. Instead of one thing, we have two now. Mother. I should have just left it in there. That's okay. You know what? We didn't know. It could have been the best jetpack upgrade of all time, and we never would have known until I opened it up and realized, no, it's not, actually. It's really bad. I, would, I shouldn't say it's really bad. It is not as good as the ones I already have. Not terrible, but not good. Go, go, go. I have a weird obsession. I have these items that I know I'm going to need a lot of, but the only reason I know I need a lot of it is because I play normal mode, <laughs> so I don't actually need them for a, a fugitive run. So that's just going to clutter up my inventory like my, uh, yeah, like that condensed carbon. You don't need a lot of that, Jason. Calm down. Calm down on that. We have Dude, that hit hard. Jeez. I get it, man. You don't got to be like that. We don't need quad servos. We're good. You don't got to be all rude and like smack me across the planet. Goodness. Unknown building. I always want to know what it is because it says unknown building. That doesn't mean it's a building. Those could be crash ships. They could be a lot of different things. So it's just an unknown location. I bet you... It is a, uh, it's a, uh, resource depot, because there's a sentinel right next to it. And I don't see a roof or anything. It is, yep, a resource depot, man. So, yeah, basically, if you see a sentinel around a building, an unknown building, more than likely it's going to be a manufacturing facility, because they have to protect those. And, or it'll be a resource depot. So after I see the... Oh! Have fun with that, pirates. I'm not helping you with that. Uh, but yeah, so after I see that there's sentinels there, I always check for a, a roof. Any kind of a, a building type thing. And if there's no building, that means it's a resource depot. Hey, sentinels, did you see that? All those pirates, they shot your uh, your resonator. You should go after them. Go after the pirates and let me have their ship. That would be cool. Gravitational anomaly. So we have a good storm on this planet. So it makes you float a little bit more when you uh, jump. Because whenever there's a gravitational storm, that just means there's low gravity. 
so you can see. Look at that. Whoa! Way up in the air. I love that. That's so cool. Give me some radiant shards. Another one? All right, I'll take two. I like it. Let's look around a little bit. Nothing. Nothing. What building's being attacked? There's just constant attacks around me. Good lord. What are you shooting? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm out of here, guys. I'm out. Always check these uh, these scrap pieces that are on the ground because you never know. There could be some inverted mirrors. Or walker brains. Uh, yes, I'll take that. Walker brains are pretty awesome. Oh, wait, we don't need that many, though. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, we don't have any room. So, first things first, grab those. Done. So, we're going to need to... So, walker brains you can use for a combat... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a combat scanner anytime soon, so never mind. But, I mean, I can sell it for money. So, never mind. You know what? I'm going to fall back on that. It's going to sell for money. Now, normally, I would keep those for a combat scanner, but, uh, yeah. We're not going to get a combat scanner anytime soon. Because, again, we can't go to the Space Anomaly. We also can't go to, like, any known buildings, like a, a settlement or anything like that. So, uh, essentially, we cannot get the blueprint. Uh, I mean, you can. It's it's possible. We have to find enough locations that give us uh, blueprints as a reward. So we're talking a whole bunch of uh, crash ships. And they'll give us a blueprint as a reward. And eventually you'll run into the blueprint for a uh, combat scanner. But I'm not banking on that. <laughs> so it's possible. Sure. Is it likely? No. Not even a little bit. But I need to find, like, I think... There is a particular order, so when you start finding the uh, the crash ships, you go to over to the distress beacon, and you can pull technology out of there, and it'll give you a blueprint. And there is an order to it. You can probably look it up online. You can see the order of uh, blueprint gifts. And, you know, you'll get, like, oh, you'll get a uh, teleport receiver for your ship. You'll get an advanced mining laser. All that kind of stuff. And there's a, you know, if you do... Uh, the first one is always your teleport receiver. Second one is always this thing. Third one is always that thing. And so it's probably like number 15 or 20 is, hey, you get a combat scanner. <laughs> so I don't want to go through 15 crash ships just to find a combat scanner. They'll never know it was me. I stopped before they came over here. Wasn't me, man. Wasn't me. Oh, there's a resonator over there. Oh, is that a scrap? That is a scrap piece over here. Oh, no, no. It looks like a... Uh, nope. It's just a... That's a weirdo thing. I saw this and I assumed it was a piece of metal. Random pieces of metal. It's not. They're just boxes right next to a knowledge stone. Great. I'll deal with that, I guess. Now it's not as fun to jump around because gravity is still normal. Any grave markers? Nope. Oh god. I just fall down a hole? How? Another resonator. There's another resonator over there. Goodness. A lot of resonators around here. So, and we don't have any room. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Um, I think we need to call on our ship. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. So we can get this resonator. So it'll either give me a uh, inverted mirror or another chart. Can't see. Oh no, there you go. Echo chart. I'll take that. We can go after this one. Why isn't this one telling me what it is? 
Another echo look. Ooh, man, we're gonna have a whole bunch of these charts. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be able to find a whole bunch of uh, camps, harmonic camps. Yeah, we need to call in my. I just wanted to make sure the sentinels weren't gonna come after me. All right. Definitely gonna move some of the stuff that we're not gonna need, like all the uh, all the crystals, radiant shards. We can put that in our ship because that's gonna be our fuel. So yeah. Move this stuff. We don't need that. We won't need this. We won't need that. We don't need these. And uh, yeah, we're gonna need to get a refiner. All right, we gotta get a refiner. Thank you, ship. Oh, we gotta make sure I uh, do this. So I got a whole bunch more uh, crystals, and then I used one for a refuel. I'll take it. Now, technically, I should be using uh, Pugnium. I believe it's Pugnium that goes in here. Uh, it won't tell me until I use it all. Pugnium. Pugnium goes into your anti-gravity, your uh, launch thruster. And... There we go. And we'll do that. Yeah, I think we're good. And we got some room in here. We need to make a... Uh, need to make a... Thing here, so I should before I go crazy. Let's do this because I can refine. I can refine my uh, my stuff here and get a whole bunch back. So refine the copper, get some chromatic metal. Um, why are you glowing like that? That's crazy. We can also refine some of our sodium into sodium nitrate. And I think that's it. Oh, let's make some. Uh, you know what? Jellies. That way we can cut down on some of our carbon. Go into the ship. And sodium. Where is it at? Did I lose the track of it? Oh, there it is. 35. Sodium nitrates. Yeah, see? Look at that. We cleared up a lot of room in here. I need to use some more of these. So. Need to get some more dihydrogen. Yeah, we're fine. Do we see any graves? Nothing. We already took that resonator out, so we don't need that. And... Yep, one left over. <laughs> That's okay. We'll use... Uh, we'll get some jellies for that. All right. Nothing. I wish I could just have this vision all the time, or I wish I could add a scanner. So when I did that, it would mark locations as well. That would help me out a ton. Because then I could just, every once in a while, use my scanner and boom. Get all the locations, all the unknown buildings around me marked. And it doesn't have to mark it for, like, ever. Just mark it for 15 seconds. And then as I upgrade my scanner, it'll give me uh, longer and longer marking. That would be cool. You know, or maybe it goes farther and farther out. So right now, it'll only mark everything up to 100 units away, 100 feet away. But if I upgrade my scanner, it'll mark everything up to 200 or 300 or whatever, five up to 500. Like when you have all your upgrades, it'll mark up to 500 feet around you, which is awesome. That should be plenty. Nothing, nothing. Oh wait, harmonic scrap. That could be next to a uh, a camp, but it's not. It's just a random one. That's okay, though. We might be able to get some good stuff out of it. Again, last time we got a... Oh, Pug Demon, that's fine. Last time we got the uh, Walker Brains, but you could get other stuff. It's not always a Walker Brain or whatever. I've got an inverted mirrors out of there. I've gotten 10 inverted mirrors, which is crazy. That's the most valuable thing I've found in there. Like, I'm hoping one day I find Radiant Shards. I have not ever found radiant shards in there but i hope one day there is there's like a possibility give me a chance even if it's a small chance at least it's a chance <laughs> oh 
around here. Hey, buddy. I don't want anything to do with you, so I'm going to keep going. No grave markers at all. What are we marking? That's 200. Yeah, see, it's marking up to four. I think it marks up to 500. But it's not always accurate either. Like, sometimes I will be looking, like, directly at a building, but it doesn't get marked on my scanner. I don't know why. Is that a weird glitch in the game? Like, it doesn't register because it's procedurally generated and the... The game doesn't recognize it or what? I don't know, but I wish it would mark everything within a certain distance. Like I, I can see, oh, there's a, uh, a gravitational ball 200 feet that way. Give me a, any building as well. Like everything doesn't matter without fail. Give me everything within a, a 300 and then let me upgrade that three. You know, at first it's 100, then it goes to two, then three. And then like five or whatever. Hey, little guy. Excuse me. Little sentinel. Like that. It's marking a building that's 400, over 400 feet away. But I don't trust that there's any other buildings. There might be another building that's just not marking. And I would never know because I you know I'm not on the surface. I'm not, I can't see that far. There's a big old mountain between me and it. Yeah. Here it goes. Inverted mirror. Okay. Definitely gonna make your refiner and just refine those down into nanites. Okay, so there's a building over here. I'm gonna have like every rock, every plant all scanned for this planet. It is like a beacon. Great. I see something. Oh, cargo drop. Let's grab this. Let's see if we can get an upgrade out of here. Not that I don't have enough upgrades. Oh, launch fuel. Okay. Well, that's nice. That'll save me one crystal. Even though I have plenty of them now. And also, because we have our advanced mining laser, we can do this and get these uh, floating crystals way over there. And the Sentinels don't know anything, you know, because I'm so far away. That is the beauty of doing this from a long distance away. They can't see. They can only check, like, within, I think, what, 100 feet of them themselves or whatever? Unless you shoot them directly like that. Don't shoot that guy. Oh, Sentinel finally found me. No, you don't want to see me. Why? Don't investigate. We're good, right? I didn't do anything. You, didn't, you can't prove anything. You can't prove it. Nothing, nothing. Go, go, go. Nothing, 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 nothing. Buried cash. No. Keep going. There's another resonator right here. Got it. Nothing. Go, go, go. We should probably get some radiant shards, some radiant crystals. Oh, we should open these up too. 
There we go. So, refine that down. Sell that off. Refine that down. Use that. Now let's get some radiant shards going. Go, go, go. Don't explode in my face. I'm trying to get an upgrade. Or more launch. Are you serious? We got two launch fuels now? How is that possible? Wow. Two launch fuels. That more than makes up the difference. Yeah, because now I can just refill like crazy. And the radiant shards. I can also use radiant shards in my uh, warp cell. So my warp drive. That's kind of a, another big piece of why I'm getting so many. So I can use that to refill my warp. So I can just literally just jump like crazy amount of systems. Now, I don't want to do that because uh, it's going to take me the, just let's look at that. Let's just do some simple math. Hyperdrive range. So I can jump 1,200 light years. We are about 700 light years away from the center. So even if I jumped a hundred times, that's only a hundred thousand light years. I need to jump 700 times. Every, you, know, you gotta think, okay, every warp is about, let's say, even if I was, even if it was perfect, I have all the fuel I need and I don't need to stop for anything. And I just jumped from system to system, 700 jumps. And you're talking 30 seconds. Maybe 40. Let's just re let's just say 30 seconds. It's probably closer to 45, maybe even a minute between the load time and then going into the, the uh, galaxy map. Let's just say 30 seconds. That is an insane. That's hours of uh, just basically picking the next system, going, picking the next system, going, picking the just hours of me in menus. That's not fun. That is not fun. Not for me and not for you. I don't think it'd be fun to watch either because, I mean, yeah. Want to watch like probably two or three hours of me in menus? <laughs> possible, totally possible. I would rather do this though. It's more fun, more adventurous, more risky to do it like this. That's what it kind of comes down to that. You know, because there's a lot of things like when we do the abandoned buildings, is it safe to just, you know, open up the eggs and run around in a circle like a crazy person? No, not at all. But it's boring if I were just to dig a hole underneath the, the nest and then fire up at the eggs and ha knock them out and pick them up. That's boring. It's not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun. Uh, again, not as fun for you to watch, but not as fun for me to play. I like having that element of danger and being kind of uh, reckless. I know how to play the, uh, the, the really safe and easy way, but that's not fun. Uh, you know, that's why I boost a lot like that and get some damage. That's fine. I'm not too uh, worried about being a little reckless here and there because it's more fun. I'm not seeing any graves though. Oh, there's an unknown building over here. I almost went down into that cave to get some more batteries, but we do not need any more batteries. We are good. Where's my... Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Oh, look at that. Observatory. We can't go in there. But it would be a nice place to go into because there might be a uh, a traveler in there. At random, you'll run into travelers just randomly. And, uh, oh, transmission tower. I could find a crash ship if I wanted to. Can't go in there, though. Oh, my God. Man, the pirates are not caring in this system. Every time I get close to a building, they go after it. That's nuts. Oh, look at Planetary Archive. Nice. All right, now we're getting kind of somewhere. We're seeing a lot of buildings pop up, which is kind of nice. I'm hoping there's a grave. <laughs> is there not a grave around here? So there's always a rumor that, oh, there's always a grave next to a uh, planetary archive. You just need to go around it a little bit and you'll find it. You'll find it. I have tried that multiple times and I have not, I have yet to find. Oh, we're there again. I have yet to find a grave 
randomly next to a planetary archive when I was looking for it. Now, sometimes I'll look for, I'll, I'll talk to a traveler and I will get the location of a grave and it, it just so happens to be next to an archive. But I've never gone to an archive and then just, oh, there's a grave right here next to it. It's never happened. It just doesn't happen like that. At least not for me. Maybe it does for you guys. And I'm just unlucky, like always. <laughs> that is possible. That's just a possibility, 100%. But just in my own experience, nope, it hasn't happened. There we go. But yeah, look at that. We have so many freaking uh, shards now. It's crazy. That is nuts. Oh, we can't use launch fuel on this one. Well, great. I, uh, I was all excited about the launch fuel, but it doesn't work in a Sentinel ship. I just remembered that. Well, that's awesome. We have Pugnium, so we're good on that. Pugnium works. We also have that, so we can do that. All right. Well, I guess we're going to be using Pugnium now, and we can refine our Atlantium down into Pugnium. What was I looking at that we were going to go to? Oh, yeah, we were going to look. We we're going to go around the, uh, the Planetary Archive and see if there is a grave location around it. So that's Planetary Archive. So, I mean, theoretically, if we walk around it, like in a big old circle, we should run into a uh, grave marker, a grave location. I have a hard time thinking that's going to happen, though. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping Sean Murray is hearing me right now saying it's not going to happen, and he makes it happen, but I doubt it. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I'll just do a big circle around it. Dun, dun, dun. This reminds me of whenever I do a uh, no starter ship challenge. I always run into a, a, you know, a planetary archive and I have to walk around it trying to look for buried technology because, uh, of course, I don't have enough money to buy a ship for my no starter ship challenge. I mean, yeah, we're doing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we already saw that. That's a uh, manufacturing facility a thousand feet away. Oh, now you're now you're paying attention. Huh? Well, let me get out of here. Okay, so it's over there. So, I mean, yeah, we're doing a pretty wide circle, too. So it's not like I'm right next to the planetary archive. I'm giving myself a little bit of a, a space around it. That way I can freaking see anything. Are they attacking the Planetary Archive? That's not a smart move. Why would you do that? Planetary Archive is going to get protected by the Sentinels. You should know that, pirates. Come on. You guys are brave. Unknown building. A thousand feet away. What? Did it just mark a building for me? Because I don't remember marking that. Is there a building a thousand feet? Is that a... Uh... Wait a minute. Is a beacon... Have I been over there? Have I been to that location? No, because we're heading north. So we're technically going this way. So it shouldn't... I should have been over there. That's really strange. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, you guys. Oh, there's a resonator over there. But no grave markers. There is a uh, unknown building... Star Bramble. Let's go to the unknown building. Another one of these. That's my unknown building. It's a marker. Or it's a market. Not a marker. Market. So I can sell some stuff. Well, let's just double check. I'm pretty sure I saw a market. Yep, mark it. So anytime you see one of these little uh, communication stations, trade terminal, whatever you want to call it, that's just a place you can sell some stuff. But we can't interact with that. We'll get caught. They'll see our location, so we can't do that. All right, we're going in a big circle. I don't think I'm going to see anything, though, you guys. We haven't found a marker yet, a uh, grave marker. 
Now, it should come up as literally a grave marker even on my scanner, so it won't show an abandoned building or an unknown building or anything like that. It'll just show a grave marker. It'll just say grave on it. But I'm double checking just to be thorough, just because I know there's going to be someone in the comments that said, hey, you know that unknown building that could have been a grave site? No, probably not. But just for you, I'm going to check it. Yeah, see, that's a plaque. So don't need that. I can go and talk to it, but there's no point. Like, it's just going to either teach me a word or whatever. Oh, it's marking that mark. See, it's just marking random buildings now. Because I know I didn't mark anything over there. But it marked it for me. I wonder what that is. Like, if you're on foot for long enough, do they start marking buildings? Like, hey, 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 we know you're, you're kind of dumb, Jason. So there's a marker. There's a building over here. Come over here. Where'd my uh, planetary archive go? I lost track of my planetary archive. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? It just marked a random building 500 feet away. <laughs> so weird. Are they just shooting me? Oh, we are going back south. So maybe this is a, a building I already marked. So this could be a building I've already been to because we are going back south. So we did a big cir circle, a big loop. What is it though? What is this? Is this a abandoned building or a settlement? It is an abandoned building. Okay, attack that abandoned building, you guys. Smarties. There's nothing there, like literally. I'm not seeing... I think we went in a big circle because that's where my uh, my ship is over there. And I'm not seeing any grave markers, guys. So, uh, yeah. There it is. And that's where my ship is. So I think we've gone in a big circle. I can't... There's nothing. There's no grave markers, you guys. There's no grave marker. No way. Look at that. I'm within 900 feet of my uh, original ship. That's when, you know, there you go. There's the transmission tower. I'm running into all the buildings I ran into before. All right. Well, let's continue on north. No, uh, no grave markers. Again, disappointed. One day I'll get lucky and it'll randomly show up. Ah, oh, we don't need rusted metal. We're good. If I need uh, ferrite dust, I'll just get it from the rocks. We don't need anything like that. So, resonator, gravitino balls. A whole lot of nothing. Okay, we got it. We built this. We don't need any more condensed carbon. No more condensed carbon. Nice that beacon I already went through trade terminal <laughs> yep we're going right back through all the stuff we've already touched because i went on a big circle that's okay though pretty soon here we'll get to some spots that we haven't been to yet yeah i don't need any condensed carbon we're good on that keep it going you yeah, see it marked another it marked that building again what is that but I know I didn't mark that. It just popped up. After I got within a thousand feet of it, it just automatically marked it. <laughs> so weird. And they don't tell you anything. Like, as far as I know, there's no official, like, patch notes that say anything about, oh, we'll uh, automatically mark things for you at whatever time. Either if you've been on the ground for a certain amount of time or if you walked a certain distance, maybe. I don't know. But it does feel like... It doesn't do it at first, but if you've been on a planet for a little while, I don't know if it's distance traveled or if it's just time, but it'll start marking locations for you just automatically like that. That just throws me off because I, I, you know, I want to mark something for myself.
We'll see what they keep marking for us. What is this thing? What do you guys think it is? Say in the comments before we get there. Before we get there. Don't cheat. I know you're going to cheat, but don't cheat. <laughs> what do you think it is? Is it a trade terminal? Is it a, uh, is it a grave site? Probably not. Is it a crash ship? Is it a manufacturing facility? Yep. Yeah. Manufacturing facility. So we don't need any part of that. I don't want to deal with the sentinels and we can't go inside anyway. So let's avoid this. And we don't get caught. Definitely not a place a fugitive wants to go. All the security cameras, you know there's security cameras around a uh, manufacturing facility. Let's get around here. Oh, wait, there's a building over here. It feels like the beginning of the game when I was like, oh, going from building to building looking for an abandoned uh, ship. And then I'm building over there. So let's go to this one first. And then we'll head over in that direction. Oh, abandoned building. Man, you know what? They keep throwing abandoned buildings at me. I might as well, you know, go farm all the, uh, the nanites, right? I mean, seriously. I have a, uh, I have a freaking, uh, a refiner, so I might as well. I have some room. I probably need to call on my ship and drop some stuff off. Good Lord, I have two stacks. Three stacks of condensed carbon. We definitely need to do that. Not going to work. And are you a plaque? Yeah. Plaque, an ancient plaque. Dun, dun, dun. Nope, nope, nope. And building. We're going to ignore that for now. Hmm. It, it, actually, you know what, you guys? I'm going to call it here. Hopefully, you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button. And before we go, before you cut off, before you get out of here, let me know down in those comments. Should we go to a different planet and try this again? Or should we just keep searching this one planet? Because I'm not feeling very lucky on this planet. But I'll leave it up to you guys. So leave me a comment down below. I'll read that before I record the next one. Should we stay here or move on to a different planet and just start over from scratch? Because... Yeah, I'm not running into any luck here. So I will see you guys in the next one. I got to call on my ship, but I'll see you guys in the next one.